Our friends at Caesar Sportsbook like Tampa's odds to win it back to back. They're currently eight to one to repeat, which are the second best odds in the league. Only Kansas City is shorter at five to one. And so let me go live to Tampa. It's been a long time since we've seen Jenna Lane, who covers the Bucks for us. Good morning, Jenna. And what do we know about the way Bruce Arians is looking to motivate this team to try and do something that no team has done in a generation, and that is win back to back Super Bowls? Greeny, I spoke to I spoke to Bucks coach Bruce Arians this morning and he told me his message to the team is going to be new team, new journey. Last year means nothing. And that echoes something that Tom Brady told me a few months ago when I had a chance to sit down with him. He said nobody cares what you did last year. So between the two of those guys, they're not going to have to search very far for motivation. And then I talked to members of the team and they told me Look, we were able to accomplish so much with so many new pieces without having an off season. They are really excited about the chance to come together and finally have some semblance of an off season, being able to practice together, hopefully at team facilities. We still don't know for sure because of COVID-19. But then I also go back to Brady. Remember, this is a guy that called his quarterbacks coach, Clyde Christensen, the day after the Super Bowl, the day after they won it. He only had a few hours of sleep and he's like, I want to talk about next year. He was already focused on number eight. So that, that's the point, is that there's every reason to think this team should be better, and the biggest obstacle tends to be the complacency that sets in. And so we've been talking about this here a little bit. We had Teddy Bruschi on talking about it and others. As you know this team, as well as anybody does being there, will the job of keeping that complacency away, is that going to fall on Brady or is it going to fall on Arians? I think it's going to fall on the leadership altogether, and I'm going to look at Bruce Arians for that. And, of course, he was known as the mask police around the facility this past year. That's why their COVID numbers were so down, because he was patrolling the facility telling guys, hey, lift up your mask, put on your mask. So between him, uh, between Brady, but then also you got to look on the defensive side of the ball at a guy like Levante David. In all the years that he's played, nine seasons now, he had just two winning seasons. I don't think you really have to worry about complacency when you have guys that have been around for so long and that have had to deal with that much losing. It's interesting because it, while this hasn't happened in a long time, it used to happen somewhat regularly. Now, that was a pre-free agency time. But Graziano is a skeptic. So here's Jenna Lane telling us what I've been <laughs> saying all along to you, Graziano. The Buccaneers, there's every reason to think they're going to be better next year, not worse. And yet you're going to tell us that any team in the league, any team in the sport can win but them. Right. They might be better, but winning again is basically impossible. There's a reason it doesn't happen. There's many reasons it doesn't happen. Something always shows up to derail it. Just ask the Kansas City Chiefs, who looked like a sure bet to win the whole thing again until the very last game. So, look, I, I think when you look at Tampa Bay, this is why they brought Tom Brady in there, right, to elevate them from good team to championship team. So he will be the factor that keeps them on track because he's, he's been through this before and he knows what it's all about. So that gives them a chance. But man, if they repeat, that would be a stunner. Mike T, your thoughts? Yeah, I think Tom Brady and Todd Bowles are great force multipliers. They're going to hold people accountable in their style and Bruce Arians style works for him. So despite what Dan's saying about the history and the statistics, they have the right confluence of personalities to make this work. And imagine what a full offseason is going to be like with the greatest quarterback of all time. If anyone can do it, it's them. I'm with you. Jenna Lane, we will be checking in with you regularly as we work through this offseason. And we are going to prove Graziano's skepticism to be just what it is. Cynicism, I tell you. That's all it is. Jenna Lane, thank you very much. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.